there are seven different um, zones that uh, uh, that break down the uh, uh, the panels. These uh, affectionately are known as the Curry zones for the uh, engineer uh, Don Curry, who uh, uh, did an extensive amount of work uh, after the Columbia accident to. Uh, help understand the uh, ability of the panels to withstand any damage. Uh, the uh, GANs that are being done uh, provide uh, uh, near real-time uh, information to the imagery analysis team that uh, is uh, stationed in the mission evaluation room here in Mission Control. They look at these uh, images uh, quite extensively and match those to pre-flight imagery uh, before the vehicle launched to uh, discern whether there was any damage uh, incurred during the uh, launch of uh, Atlantis and the climb to orbit. A uh, very similar uh, uh, scan will be done late in the mission to ensure that uh, the panels uh, had no damage uh, from any micrometeoroid debris uh, impacts during the mission. From the elbow camera on the shuttle's robotic arm, looking down across the tail of Atlantis as it uh, has just crossed the equator to begin the 15th orbit of its mission, tracking uh, northeasterly, just about to swing across uh, Central America, just to the south uh, east of uh, Acapulco, and then track across uh, the Yucatan Peninsula and central Cuba before moving across the um, Western Caribbean and then out across the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantis is uh, just a little bit uh, more than 8,000 miles behind the Hubble Space Telescope, which uh, currently is uh, high above the Indian Ocean. The current altitude of Hubble is 350 miles. Atlantis' uh, current altitude is 180 miles. The lower uh, orbit of Atlantis allowing the vehicle to catch up with the um, telescope uh, over a period of uh, the next day or so with uh, rendezvous and grapple scheduled just before noon Wednesday. Mass, go ahead, free VA. Okay, uh, Dan, we completed the suits. Uh, we completed the uh, with Johns and Drew suits on page three six. Right now, we're waiting for the uh, fifteen minute battery charge to finish up. And looking forward to uh, post EMU checkout reconfig. If you guys got enough data, are we okay to reconfig the comm? Mass, thanks for the update on that, and uh, yes, we've got enough data, so you can go ahead and reconfigure the comm. Okay, we'll go ahead. 
ahead and do that now. While the uh, port wing survey uh, continues, uh, the underside of uh, Atlantis's left wing, looking at the tiles with the uh, orbiter boom sensor system attached to the shuttle's robot arm. The uh, call just moments ago that the um, uh, check out of the remaining two suits is pretty much complete. The only open item was uh, to allow the battery charging to complete uh, for another 15 minutes or so. Um, based on that, all four spacesuits uh, have checked out now, and uh, those suits are essentially ready to support the uh, five spacewalks planned for this mission. Uh, the three odd numbered spacewalks, one, three, and five, will be conducted by John Grunsfeld and Drew Foistel. The even numbered spacewalks, two and four, will be carried out by Mike Massimino and Michael Good. The integrated sensor inspection system digital camera on the tip of the uh, orbiter boom and sensor system, part of the sensor package uh, on the tip of that boom, uh, providing the images uh, that are being downlinked real-time to mission control for evaluation by the imagery analysis team in the mission evaluation room. Also coming up uh, shortly, the uh, crew members will prepare to uh, lower the cabin pressure from 14.7 pounds per square inch. The air pressure that is felt uh, here on Earth at sea level, they will lower that pressure to 10.2 pounds per square inch which is essentially the air pressure at an altitude of 10,000 feet. That will allow uh, the crew members to uh, slowly uh, condition their bodies, um, particularly the four crew members that will conduct the five spacewalks, uh, to condition their bodies uh, in preparation for uh, heading out for the spacewalks beginning Thursday morning. Lowering the cabin pressure re re reduces significantly the amount of time that the crew members uh, have to pre-breathe pure oxygen as they head out for the uh, planned six and a half hour long spacewalks. If uh, they did not depressurize, uh, it would uh, require about a four hour uh, pre-breathe of pure oxygen uh, rather than uh, what it will take uh, about 45 minutes or so. The difference uh, between a space shuttle mission and a, and a mission to the International Space Station is the uh, the ISS's airlock uh, is actually uh, can operate standalone and be closed off from the rest of the station. And so crew members uh, conduct their pre-breathe, if you will, uh, overnight uh, through a campout procedure so that the rest of the space station can remain at the 14.7 uh, uh, pounds per square inch level. The shuttle does not have that capability to seal off the uh, airlock from the rest of the uh, 